Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topic Super Actor. Baba Desha was only me to learn why James Omega finally admits that he did it and there are fresh charges as another lady comes forward. Today on November 5th, 2021, an officer of the Nigerian Police Force, SP Wahab Karim, told an Ikeje Special Offenses Court that this embattled actor on Arawaji James Omeika, probably called Baba Desha, is facing another allegation of child defilement. The police personnel attached to the state criminal investigation department here by Lagos stated that another young lady has come forward claiming that the actor defiled her when she was 12 years old. Karim attached to the state criminal investigation department here by Lagos stated as the fifth prosecution witness in Babajisha's trial for the defilement of a minor, the news agency of Nigeria reports. Led in evidence by the state counsel, Mr. Yusufsule, the police officer said during our investigation, another girl named Wittel came forward and said that the defendant assaulted her when she was 12 years old. We interviewed her and the defendants behind the counter and he vehemently denied the allegation. The girl said that the incident occurred at Aga area of Ikurudu and we told the representative of the defendant to follow us to the house. We met the landlord. However, the landlord showed us a, an apartment and said this is where Baba Desha used to stay. Meanwhile, the defendants are denied living in that area. Following the testimony, the statement of James' former landlord, Alaji Jamil, and his statement that the SCID was admitted into evidence during proceedings, a video recording of James at the SCID admitted to sexually assaulting the foster daughter of the comedian Damlala Adikwe alias Princess was played and was heard saying, I arrest her, I touched her hand and I licked her hand. Earlier on, Karim testified that he was asked to take over the investigation of the case from a team due to complaints from Damlala Adikwe. And in his words, I was asked to take over the matter from Timmy because the complainant Princess had complained about the closeness between the defendants and the members of Team A. After the conclusion of the investigation, I transferred the file to the Directorate of Public Prosecution for legal advice. While being cross examined by Mr. Babatunde Ogala, Karim said that he never visited the crime scene, adding that the minor who also accused the defendants of defilement was brought to the police by a decoy. He said that the statement of the defendant's former landlord was recorded at the landlord's residence and not at a police station. More so, he told the court that the statement was taken to his superior, CSP Margaret Gadulu. When asked to show where his superior countersigned the landlord statement as required by law, the witness said the landlord statement was not countersigned. Also, the policeman testified that a lawyer was not present when James made his initial statement to the police at the SCID. He added that James was not taken to equal due to counter the other claim of the farmers due to security reasons. And in his words, the defendant was the one who asked his brother to take us to equal he did not take him there because of security reasons. His name was all over the news and televisions and radio stations. He could have been hijacked from us. And that is why we told him to nominate someone and he nominated his brother to go with us. Baba Jesha faces a six count burden on indecent treatment with child sexual assault, attempted sexual assault by penetration, and sexual assault by penetration. Your offenses contravene section 135259262263 and 262 of the Criminal Law of Lagos State 2015. Says Damlola Adekoya, the foster mom of the alleged victim, 14 years old girl, was present in court today as mentioned earlier. In Justice Oluwato in Taiwan, adjourned the case until November 12, 2021, for the continuation of the trial. Meanwhile, as Adele reported, on October 21, a medical doctor, Dr. Aniko Makonjola, revealed before the Ikeja Special Offenses Court how Damlola Adekoya's foster daughter was defiled by the comic you back to Olanwaji James Rinka Babajisha. The news agency of Nigeria reported that Mark Andrew made the revelation while being led in evidence by the state prosecutor, Mr. Yusuf Sule, during the trial of the embattled actor over the allegations of defilement. And your words, our findings were that there was a blunt penetration of the vagina, which was consistent with the client's history. Mark Andrew, a trained forensic medical examiner, is the head of the Clinical Services at Women at Risk International Foundation, WARIF. She was testifying as the fourth prosecution witness and she said we took her to the consulting room and she gave her a history of the event from seven years ago she did not mention this incident to her mother but it began to affect her mood and academic performance she disclosed what happened to her mother's friend on april 16th we in turn informed her mother we decided to do an examination there was a normal external genitalia we observed the healed lustration of the labia minora at the three o'clock position we also observed a notch at the 6 o'clock position. Based on these findings, my lord, the client was sent to the laboratory for more tests. They were HIV-1 and 2, hepatitis A, B, syphilis and pregnancy. 
the okay man negative. She was sent for psychological assessment and the report was made. Authenticated and sent to the SCID. Following the revolutions, the prosecution turned out the referral letter and medical report as evidence to the court. They were admitted as evidence and marked as Exhibit J and G1. One under cross examination by defense counsel, Mr. Dadawoshika san, Mark Onjola revealed that wife is a sexual assault referral center. She also said that she conducted a medical examination based on the client's history. In her words, the yield lacerations could notice that the lacerations found in the genitalia were not something that were recent, my lord. Nan reported that Babatisha faced a six count charge, as mentioned earlier, bordering on indecent treatment of a child, sexual assault, attended sexual assault by penetration, and sexual assault by penetration. Also on the same day, 21st of October, the video recording of the child forensic interview conducted on May 15th by Mrs. Olabisi Ajaikaede, the child expert and executive director of the Shishiraya Foundation. The video was played during the cross examination of Ajaikaede by the defense counsel Babatunde Ogalasen. During the interview, the minor described the interaction she had with Babatunde on April 19th when she met him at her foster mom's house. And Mano said that when Babacha came into the house, he initially acted as if he was having a phone conversation. Then he began checking the apartment to know whether anyone was at home before I approached her. And he said, you're a smart young girl, my baby. Do you have a boyfriend? I said, no. And he said, since you do not have a boyfriend, now that you are much more mature, you are now mine. I'm your boyfriend. He said, I used to teach you some things when you were small. I asked him what things so that I could record them in my phone. My phone was under the throw pillow because I thought he wanted to confess to what he did seven years ago, but I was unable to record them. And he said, don't you remember me and you used to play together? I used to teach you some things when you were small. Me and you had a contract. I asked him, what contract? He asked him to sit on his legs and I said, no. And he said, you know, that's when you were small. You were not afraid. Now you're afraid. This was what the minor said. The minor then told Ajaika did that Baba Jesus started touching her sexually and asked her to bring some water. When I went to the kitchen, she said, he also followed me and it was at this point that my mother and the other men, the CCTV company staff, came in. Earlier on, the minor also narrated to Ajaika the what transpired between herself and how this star comic actor allegedly defiled her seven years ago. The minor also added that after this incident, she did not see him again until seven years later. And earlier today, we had reported that Babajesh had pleaded not guilty to these charges. Of the filing Damlala Adikoye's foster daughter, but he now faces another fresh defilement charge. We'll be bringing you updates on this case. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.